What's up, Tube Tube? Welcome back to Low Guido's Chop Shop, second best job blaster channel on the tubes. And tonight on the bench, I've got the uh, 40 Max uh, Gel Ball Gas Grenade. Um, this one is a demo model from um, Urban Gel Ball. So you may notice around the base and along the top here it's already had quite a few test runs it's uh looks like it's had a bit of a a bit of an interesting life thus far but uh it's certainly not a brand spanker it's seen some action um there's a few marks and whatnot but what that does tell me straight off the bat is that these things are pretty rugged, even though they are um, mostly, for the most part of it, uh, a plastic. Um, they're pretty rugged. The top section here is aluminium, and the bottom base plate is aluminium as well. And the general way this works is that you feed a whole bunch of orbies in here. Uh, so I've got these are the Orbeez. If you don't know what they are, they're a soft gel, um, super absorbent polymer, non-harmful, um, and they're used in skirmish sports in Australia. And basically, you put the gel, oh, you put the gel in this hole here, and it goes down into the grenade. Now you can feed a hundred of these in to this grenade and now to do that it's best if you load your gels into like a speed loader like this and just sort of smash them in that way like that otherwise it could take you quite a while <laughs> popping them in one by one um, you, may, you may have noticed that the pin fell out in, in, the, in the earlier shot um, the pin is quite loose when when the grenade is inert, but once you put a little bit of gas inside there, I'll just put a, just a tiny spray of gas in there. Um, you can see now the pressure of that gas is actually pushes up against the pin and it doesn't fall out. I was a little bit worried at first when <laughs> when I picked it up and the pin was really loose, but uh, yeah, so it's actually quite quite firm once there's gas on it. Um, just pop that and let that gas come out. Um, I think the next thing I'm going to do is, after I've purged that little bit of gas, I will uh, take it apart so we can see what's going on in this thing. One other thing I will mention, uh, now that I have the pin out and a potentially live grenade in my hand, if I shake it from side to side like this, you may, there's no rattle, there's no rattle, but if you purge the grenade and shake it with no pin in it, you can hear a rattle inside it. So that's worth knowing, just in case you're not sure if the pin's in, you won't hear the rattle either. Anyway, let's uh, get into taking this down. First thing I'm going to do is remove the base plate here. There's two holes there. And unscrew the base. Now inside here, you can see the bearing and a spring. That's actually what pushes down on the seal and holds it holds the gas seal closed so you can see uh, when you throw a grenade and it hits the ground and it gets shocked it will bounce this out of the gas port and allow the gas to escape the gas will escape out of these holes in the bottom here um, and then they will purge gas into this spiral 
which is what contains all your gels. The gels will then being propelled by the gas push outside of this hole and this little rubber o-ring here is sits across the top of that hole just to sort of provide a little bit of tension on those gels that are sitting up the top there so they don't fall out uh, but when the gas pressure is behind them they propel out the um, top section here of the gas canister has the fill valve there and this is the arming pin when this is pushed down and the pins on top then it pushes the ball down onto the seal and it won't allow it to come up there is a gas seal here, a blue one there is also another blue gas seal here that's the one that the ball seals on and then there is an o-ring here and an o-ring here so they're all the o-rings that you need to know for maintenance um, bit of 100% silicon oil on them every now and then won't hurt uh, well actually not only will it not hurt but it'll be uh, beneficial uh, next thing that happens when when this is set off is uh, the gas forcing all your little um, orbies out this hole. The hole's offset. You can see that it's offset on an angle out there. So what it actually does is it causes the grenade to spin around as well as it's as it's releasing the gas and propelling the orbies. <laughs> so yeah, so so by spinning around at the same time as propelling the gels it, uh, it gives it like a good coverage, a good spray uh, so I've tested this and I've got some, uh, got some slow motion footage that I've taken and I've tested it on hard surfaces and it's had great results on hard surfaces I've also tested on grass surfaces and I found that if I just sort of lightly lobbed onto the grass surface it didn't quite go off properly and it didn't have that spinning effect um, however if I was to make sure that it hit the ground quite hard uh, it, yeah, it went off properly and it spun with no problem so if, you, if you're using it on a soft grassy surface you might want to uh, just make sure it hits the ground quite hard to, um, to set it off. On a concrete surface, indoors, uh, no problems at all. Indoor play fields, this would clear a room so easily. So easily. Alright, let's put this all back together. Spring, ball. Don't get it the wrong way around and have to re-edit the video like me. Put this one up in there. And then screw the base on. And then you put this top o-ring back on. This uh, o-ring, this top o-ring, I can see this is being uh, broken quite easily and often. I imagine that's going to be replaced fairly often. I have found um, replacement seal sets for these. Uh, pretty easy to come by. I have ordered myself a set of replacement seal kits. I'm going to replace all the seals in this one because they are a little bit tired being that it is a demo model uh, but great little unit. I'm very impressed with the way it works. Um, the only gripes I've got is that it does take a little while to fill compared to some of the mechanical ones that I've had in the past where you just pour gels into the top of it um, 
popping all the gels in kind of one by one, you know, out of 100 gels is uh, it's a little bit tedious. I mean, it makes field filling kind of difficult. Um, and I've also been told and would strongly recommend filling the gas before filling the gels. So, um, just fill the gas like that in the gas port and then with your pin in get your speed loader in and fill the gels. The reason for that is um, when you have, with some gases, you have a so endothermic reaction when they go from a liquid to a gas, when you're filling them from one thing to the other, it can make this very cold. And I have had instances where it can get cold enough to freeze the water that's on some of the gels and kind of clog it up inside a bit. So um, probably best to fill it first, you know, sit it at room temperature so there's no condensation or anything getting frozen in there, then fill your gels and then you should be good to go. The other thing I might mention is I've used a variety of gels and uh, some of them are a bit larger. The had some um, gels, some hardened gels from Primal Tech and they were like 7.5, 7.6 uh, thereabouts uh, size in, in diameter and the channels inside this they were, they were a bit squeezed in there, so it didn't always uh, expel every gel every time you used it. But if I used some of the smaller gels, if I used like, if I used these glow gels that I have here, uh, they're a bit smaller in diameter, they're more around a 7.0, 7.1 sort of diameter, and they seem to flow through the little channels uh, a lot easier. Um, Depending on the rules that you play at, the field that you play at, um, you might not actually have to be hit by the gel coming out, like it might just have to go off near you to count as a hit. Um, some fields may not even allow this on the field depending on their rules because they might not allow gas grenades on the field. Um, so that's something that you need to check out with your local field where you play, what their rules are on grenades and such um, but that being said I definitely did feel the hit uh, when I was testing these and I um, let them off pretty much right in front of myself and I got tagged by a number of gels from a number of tests um, and I definitely felt the hit uh, I wouldn't say it's not like it's not like being hit with a blaster but um, it's definitely enough to feel the hit and um, you definitely should be able to tell that a grenade's just gone off right next to you. Um, yeah, definitely a good little bit of kit. I've enjoyed playing around with it. Uh, shout outs to Urban Gel Ball again for letting me play with it. And um, also shout outs to everyone who's bought me a coffee. Adam Hoy, you are everyone. Um, also, uh, Hemoglobin, I think it was bought me a coffee last video but I was in the middle of editing it when when uh, when I got the notification that uh, someone bought me a coffee so shout outs shout outs to you guys cheers and if you wanted to support my channel um, you can buy me a coffee as well from the link down below uh, definitely worth looking at um, the 40 max grenade uh, if that's something that you want to have in your kit um, it's it's a, it's a cool little piece of gear. It's um, definitely more powerful than any of the mechanical grenades I've ever come across. Um, but a little bit more finicky and again check with your local rules as to whether you're allowed to use the gas on field. Uh, as always, have a pleasant one. Peace.